fifth AIC UG TV interview. I am pleased to have with me Dr. Hemant Deshpande sir. He is a professor and head of the department of obstetrics and gynecology at D.Y. Patil Medical College in Pune. Thank you very much sir for accepting our invitation to be here yeah. for this uh, special um, AIC UG TV yes. interview. And uh, we are going to have a discussion on the topic of postpartum anemia. So we would like to begin with the first question, how common is the postpartum anemia? It's really common. Practically you say 60%. There is no doubt in that. Most neglected part of anemia. Antinatally patient comes regularly, take the tablets, take the injection. Postnatally hardly she is doing all these things. Concentration is on her own baby. Nobody wanted to take care of the old lady. Nobody wanted to bring her to the clinic. Antenatal attendance is excellent and fabulous. They come as per your show, postnatally. Out of 10 patients, only 2 will come. But now we are educating them. In the delivery hall itself, we are educating them that every immunization visit, you must come to the postnatal ward, postnatal opening, drop in there, check your hemoglobin, check your weight, get advice for the diet, get advice for the breastfeeding, get advice for extended immunization which has been done nowadays. And then after all these things, the patient, she get motivated and she wanted to treat the postnatal anemia. Here the patient is in lethargy, she is having weakness, she is having loss of interest in surrounding. And most important thing, her lactation is also hampered if her hemoglobin is 6, 7 or 8 or 8 grams. So she wanted to feed the baby. If you, if you tell her that if your hemoglobin is 12 or 13, you can do an excellent breastfeeding to your baby, the breastfeeding will be much more better than what anemic lady she is going to have. So do one thing, keep your hemoglobin 12 by 12, rather I can say 12, 12 into 365. Complete one year, keep your hemoglobin more than 12 grams and that too starting from 12 years of age. Oh, from 12 years till onwards, 12 grams for every day in the year. Lactation won't be suffered. Innovation of the uterus is absolutely proper. The uterus becomes normal if the hemoglobin is 12 grams. And most important thing, the patient's well-being is nice if her hemoglobin is more than So we treat this particular patient by it depends on what hemoglobin the patient is having. Yeah, that's what is my second question that how do you treat this postpartum? We can take a risk. See, we have you know, in my OPD, if you come to my OPD, we are having three counters. We do free hemoglobin of every patient at the entry. Okay. We do weight, we check the pay, we check the blood pressure, we do weight and with finger prick we, we, we do their hemoglobin. And we categorize them as per mild, moderate, and severe, as per ICMR categorization. Sir, so amongst parental iron, how do you, uh, which drug you, uh, which parental iron? I love to give a single bonus dose. Because this lady, postnatally, with a small baby in her lap, cannot come five times or ten times. If you wanted to give an injectable iron, that to every alternate day, or two times a week, or that type of thing, she may not even come. So, my intention is that as much as iron possible to be given to the patient or infused to the patient in the same visit where she came to. So, I prefer ferric carboxymatose. That's a very good one. Depending on anemia, we give the patient. How do you give it, sir? How do you administer ferric carboxymatose? Most important thing, one must remember, it should be freshly prepared. If you wanted to give this particular iron, freshly prepare it just one minute before you are giving the injection. Do not prepare for half an hour before, one hour before, three hours before. It will liberate free oxygen radicals and then they are hazardous to the patient because a number of complications. That iron becomes toxic. If, if you keep it for two hours, earlier, prepare it and then prepare it. Prepare it one minute before and give you the patient 500 mg mixed with 100 ml of normal saline to be given in just five to six minutes. It's a rapid infusion. Because most important thing we don't want the patient again. The iron, we don't want to get exposed for a long time after preparation. Giving fast means the iron which we have made, which we have prepared, we don't want to keep it outside the body for a long time. I you want to 1000 mg mixed with 250 ml of the normal saline and give it in 15 minutes. Not a single patient had any reaction. Number one, no anaphylactic reaction, no serious reactions, no even local reactions were noted with all these things. But if you really want it to be safe, 25 mg of this particular ferric carboxymatose mixed with 5 ml of the normal saline, give it within 2 minutes or 3 minutes, wait for some time, half an hour. This is a testing dose, IV testing. 
that was allocated in some countries, but we don't do that we, in our in our country because the moment you wanted to prepare that, you have to break that break the wire. New injection for testing and new injection for giving the patient this feasibility is not there with us. So we are not doing the testing. It's very safe injection can be given to all the patients. Hemoglobin less than seven grams. That is the indication of giving this parenteral iron therapy. A single shot of thousand milligram. I am hundred percent assured. That her iron stores are going to be taken care, her hemoglobin is going to be taken care, her innovation is going to be taken care, her lactation is going to be taken care. Good hemoglobin, good lactation, good innovation, and good well being. That's my advice to all the patients. Treat postpartum anemia with the same gene, with the same intention, what you are treating the antipartum anemia. Do not neglect this particular important aspect of the life. Absolutely, very well said. Uh, very well said, sir. That postpartum anemia is important um, clinical uh, problem, and that to be tackled with parenteral iron, especially pericarboxymaltose, which is a single dose uh, parenteral iron, can be safely given in postpartum anemia patient as uh, has been recommended by you in 500 to 1000 milligram strength. And the freshly prepared solution is very very important. That's very thank, important. Thank you very much, sir, for uh, you. sharing your views on postpartum thank anemia. You. Thank you. From MPR, we would like to present to you a guideline vignette booklet. This is a booklet on OHSS management and management of venous thromboembolism during pregnancy and pregnancy. Thank, Thank you, you very much.